quiz day has come around again. Today's quiz is a picture quiz using the cars from Top Drives. Welcome to the Top Drives quiz. My name is Mike and I'll be your question master for the next 10 minutes. In this episode, we will have four rounds of questions using the car pictures in Top Drives. If you know your Top Drives cars, these 16 questions should be a good test of your skills. As always with my game shows, it's just for fun. It's a bit of entertainment. If you would like to play along and write your score in the comments at the end, that would be awesome. Are you ready? Do you have your pen and paper in front of you? Then let's quiz. Round one is name that car. I'm going to show you five cars and I want you to name the manufacturer of each car. The pictures will be cropped to make it a challenge. So I'm not asking for full model names, just the brand name to win the points. The first picture in round one is a yellow car. Can you work out what the car is from my cropped picture? Just so you know, all the pictures I use in this quiz will be the exact pictures taken from Top Drives in August 2024. So the yellow color should help you out a lot. It's not a popular car color in Top Drives. It should get your brain cells whirling. Write your guess down because we've got a lot of quiz to get through. Picture two is on screen now. Can you name the car from just the number 46 sticker on its door? This is a good question. Lots of people will immediately recognize it, but it will stump quite a few people. Let's make it a little harder now by rotating the picture as well as cropping it. Can you work out which car this is in picture three? Can you decode it upside down or have you had to turn your head upside down? When you have an answer, write it down. Can you name the car in picture four? It's from the European Grand Tour update. That's all the clues I'm giving you for this one. Car five is not only cropped and rotated, but it's also black and white. It's the pinnacle of difficulty for this round. Or is it? Maybe it's just a black car on a white background. Or maybe it's a black and white photo. That's for you to work out. Write down your guess for car five and I'll move into round two. Okay, in round two, I'm going to show you four cars and I want you to correctly identify a specific card. It sounds easy, but the pictures will be cropped and there will be a few very similar models in each lineup. Here's the easiest question to start with. Which car in lineup one is the Audi? These are all German cars. Can you write down which car, A, B, C or D, is the Audi? How well do you know your orange Lamborghini? Can you select the Lamborghini Aventador SV from these four cars? They're all different models of Lamborghini from different years. Can you pick out the Aventador? Question three, I want you to find the oldest Dodge Viper in these four cars. Real world knowledge might help here, but if you know nothing about Dodge cars in real life, let's hope those top drives cars are in your head somewhere. Can you pick out the only rear wheel drive rally car from lineup four? Three cars are front wheel drive and one is rear wheel drive. Which one? Write down A, B, C or D. There's been a lot of Mitsubishi Lancer Evos over the years. Can you find the Evo 9 from this lineup of silver Mitsubishis? There are four different ages of Lancer Evo here, all with different front grills. Which one is the Evo 9? In question six, you must pick the odd one out. In these pictures, can you find the only car that can accelerate past 60 miles per hour? That's the car with the highest top speed from these four tiny cars. Last question in this round. On the screen is four Astras, but they come from three different continents. Can you find the American Astra? That's all the information I'm giving you. Pick a car from A to D. Write your answer down. It's worth two points. That's all the questions for round two. I hope you're doing okay. Round three is next. It's going to get more complicated. Right, as I said, round three is much more complicated. There are three questions and they are worth three points each. That's nine points in total if you can work out all three puzzles. What I'm gonna do is show you a series of crop pictures. You need to work out what those cars are, then take one word from each car name to make up a phrase. It has to be a sentence that makes sense, not just any old words thrown together. Well, not too much sense. Some of the answers are a little fantastical. You need to forgive me, I'm working with car names, so it's not that easy. Here is an example to help you understand. The phrase you would need to have written down is Cherry Slammer. 
because the Cherry comes from the Nissan Cherry and the Slammer is from the second car, the Chevrolet Chevelle Slammer. Hopefully that's all now clear. Here's the first set of pictures. Write down what you see. Keep the three words in order. The pictures have been displayed in the correct order so you don't need to mix the words around. Question two is another three letter phrase. Here are the crop pictures. When you've got it, write it down. I know these questions take a little bit of thinking time, so if you need to pause the video, go ahead and do so. The last question this round is a four letter phrase. Look at the pictures and see if you can decode it. When you do, write it down. While I'm waiting for you to finish writing, just a quick reminder that I have other quiz videos on my YouTube channel. Go check them out at the end of this video. Right, that must be long enough. If you've got something, I'll move on. The last round, round four, is for the final two points. It's pretty simple. Can you tell me, is this car red, white or blue? 33% chance. Pick red or pick white or pick blue. Unless you know the answer, of course. Do you know your lower range Morgans? Nope, me neither. So for two points, guess red, white or blue. And that's the end of the quiz. All your answers are now locked in. If you get everything right, you can get a maximum of 30 points. Let's run through the answers and see how you did. In round one, I was looking for you to identify these five cars. For every car you get right, add one point to your score. That's a maximum of five points available in round one. Let's reveal the full cars to find out if you named the cars correctly. The first car was the ultra rare Dodge Charger Super B. Unusual to see an American car in yellow, so hopefully it made you think. Add your first point if you guess Dodge correctly. Car two was the Martini Racing branded Porsche 911. If you wrote down Porsche, then add one point. Car three was the front lights and badge of the Acura Integra. Did being upside down really throw you off? Add one point if you guessed it correctly. Car four was the incredibly ugly Lancia Thesis. This is the newer car that was added into the game in update 23. Imagine a game that has two different Lancia Thesis in it. Well, that's the world we're living in now. Crazy? Wipe that ugly out of your eyes and give yourself a point if you've got the Lancia written down. Car five was a Ginetta. It was a black car on a white background. I was hoping some of you might have guessed Radical, but if you did guess Ginetta, add one point to your total. In round two, I asked you to identify the correct car from a selection of similar cars. I think lots of people would have been confident in this round until they saw the picture options. Even though it's multiple choice, it's definitely not easy. So for every correct answer, add two points to your score. In question one, the Audi in the lineup of German cars is B. The blue car is a 2023 Audi A3 Sportback. Add two points for finding that Audi. In my lineup of orange Lamborghinis, the car in D is the correct one. It's the Aventador from 2015 that's worth two points. B is the newer Huracan, and A and C are much older cars. The oldest Dodge Viper in lineup three is the red GTSR from 1996. If you answered A, then well done, add two points to your score. The correct picture for set four is B. The Skoda is rear wheel drive. The Citroen, Fiat and Hyundai are all front wheel drive. If you wrote down B, add two more points to your score. The answer to question five is picture C. Out of all the silver Mitsubishi Lancers, C was the correct Evo 9. In question six, I asked you to find the car that was the highest top speed, which is above 60 miles per hour. The answer is A, the 2007 Chevrolet Trax from South Korea. It has the highest top speed at over 90 miles an hour. Plus it's the only car from R4 to have a 0 to 60 times listed on the card. You get two points if you got it right, choosing A. My final question in round two was to distinguish the American Astra from the collage of four Astras from around the world. The Astras were of course two Holden Astras from Australia, one Vauxhall Astra from the UK, and the final car is a Saturn Astra from America. If you said D, then you win the point. Well done. So if you got the maximum all seven questions right, you should have added 14 points to your score total. 
Otherwise, it's two points per right answer in round two. Round three got much harder. So because of that, each correct phrase is worth three points each. That's a potential of nine points across the three questions. Hopefully my Cherry Slammer example helped you understand the format. The first three cars displayed on screen were these three. And the sentence I was looking for was Imperial Tank Attack. Imperial from the Chrysler Imperial, Tank from the Resvani Tank, and Attack is from the Jesco Attack. If you got question one right, then add three points to your score. If you were nearly right, I'll give you one point, but you need to be policing this yourself. No giving yourself points when they weren't deserved. Question two was these three cars, the Hyundai Pony, the BMW Competition, and the Renault Megane Trophy. The three word phrase is Pony Competition Trophy. If you worked it out, give yourself three points. Last question in this difficult round featured four pictures. The answer I'm looking for is Super Light Flying Lightning Boy. And it is extracted from the Caterham Super Light, the Bentley Flying Spur, the Ford F-150 Lightning, and the Suzuki Mighty Boy. Well done if you got that right. Add three points to your score. The fourth round awarded the last two points to the quiz. I asked if you could tell me whether the Morgan in the picture was actually a red car, a white car, or a blue car. Simple choice, guess the colour, unless you actually know the answer. If you wrote down blue, then well done. It's a blue Morgan Plus 4 Super Sports Baby Doll 6. Add two final points to your score if you guessed blue. And that concludes the answers. Thank you for taking part in my Top Drives quiz. Please do write your score in the comments below. I hope you did great and I hope you enjoyed this video. The quiz is now over. I'll see you next time, but get yourself out of here because we are done.